an ancient torture device designed to make death slow and unbearable. In this video, we're taking a look at the brazen bull, which was the worst punishment in the history of mankind. The idea of using torture as a form of control has been prevalent for as long as mankind has existed. Throughout history, countless tyrants have come up with their own mechanisms and devices to instill fear within the people and to punish those who went against the rules. But the brazen bull has by far been the worst of them all. Our story starts in ancient Greece somewhere around 560 BC when modern day Sicily, then known as Acragas, was under the rule of a cruel tyrant named Phalaris. The leader was actually so cruel that the people believed he enjoyed torture and even went as low as to eat human children just to satisfy his bloodlust. So, either to make sure that his reign went unthreatened or just to satiate his taste for torturing others, Phalaris asked his court sculpture to make him a glass replica of a bull, which seemed like a pretty simple request. However, this was no ordinary statue. The bull was built to be entirely hollow on the inside, large enough to contain a human inside. Why was that? Well, that was because this bull was meant to be a torture device designed by the king himself. The idea was that anyone who displeased Phalaris would be put inside the bull. Then, a fire would be lit below the belly of the bull to slowly heat the metal up, burning the person inside. But that's not all. The fumes that would escape outside of the bull's nostrils were masked by incense within the statue to make sure that no one could smell the burning human flesh. Inside the bull was a mix of tubes and pipes that would somehow conceal the sound of the person yelling and screaming, and instead to the people outside would just sound like a roar of a bull. This was a feature that Fowler specifically requested, and it was reported that the roar was the tyrant's favorite part of the punishment. It is said that when the sculptor Perilos pitched the idea of the bull to Phalaris, he told him that your victim will be punished and you will enjoy the music, which is exactly what the cruel tyrant did. Once the bull was completed, Phalaris actually threw the sculpture inside the own creation and burned him to test out whether his torture device worked or not, as that's how ruthless this king really was. But Phalaris let the sculpture out right before he died and instead decided to kill him by throwing him off a cliff for some unknown reason. Some people believe that Phalaris killed the sculpture because he was appalled at how his mind could have come up with the idea of such a genius torture device. So, to make sure that he never thought of anything more dangerous, the king decided to kill him once and for all. When Phalaris started using the brazen bull, at the end of every punishment would collect the bones of his victims make jewelry out of them, which the king would then wear as a display of dominance and power. However, things came full circle in an unfortunate way when the city of Sicily was overthrown by Telemachus in 554 BC and Phalaris was actually roasted to death in his very own torture device, bringing an end to his cruel leadership. However, the idea of the brazen bull had already become widespread by then. The Romans, as well as the Greeks, have been reported to have used similar torture devices against their own enemies. Some of the world's most famous Christian saints in the world, such as Saint Eustace and Saint Antipas, are said to have been killed using the brazen bull, which just goes to show how deadly this creation has proven to be throughout history. That's a wrap for the brazen bull, worst punishment in the history of mankind. What do you think about this cruel form of torture? See you next time with something new, and until then, goodbye.